Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great fifth wheel value from Parkway RV Center. Today we're going to look at a very affordable triple slide uh, fifth wheel. This is a 2011 Dutchman Colorado model number 321RL. Now, folks, this is a decent fifth wheel. It may not be Montana, Alpine, or Forest River uh, Cardinal quality, but it's not priced for that either. Uh, this unit was right around $42,000 new. I've got it for $17,900, which for a 2011, it's 35 feet, 9 inches long, three slides. That's a very affordable price for a lot of fifth wheel. And it's still got some really nice features you usually see on the more expensive uh, units. Uh, it's got power jacks. They're electric, um, and they have remote control. It's got a power awning. It has, of course, all three slide outs. It's got the heated enclosed underbelly and the holded, heated holding tanks. So it'll be a great wintertime unit. Fiberglass exterior looks great. Got the uh, hitch view system. You know, I've had people ask me what these little mirrors are. Well, that's when you're backing up your truck at night. You can use that to uh, angle down and see the pin of your fifth wheel hitch and where it's at in the back of your truck bed. Uh, outside's in pretty good shape. It's got a few little small crow's feet in the some of the stripes, which you know that's that's nothing unusual for for what it is. Like I said, this this isn't a concourse brand by no means, but it's a, it's a for a cheaper brand camper. It is it's actually pretty decently built. But things like stripes and stuff like that that's that's pretty common with this particular brand camper. Uh, we are going to put a new awning canvas on it. We are going to do that when we sell it. Um, but it does have the power awning, got the outside speaker, got the outside grill top right here, two burner stove top, got a sprayer and a uh, hot and cold running water out here. So perfect for barbecues and I don't see any delamination on it. And like I say, it's got some you know, a few stripes, which have probably been like that for a long time, not going to affect the functionality of this fifth wheel whatsoever. But just letting you know about it. Ninety-two hundred pounds, actually pretty lightweight for this size camper. I'm going to try to show you what I can. I've got my techs working on one next to us. You can see though, all in all, it's actually pretty decent. Got the spare tire on the back, got the power rear stabilizers. Brand new spare, still got the sticker on it. Of course, you can't really tell much right here. Of course, I'm not even gonna try to squeeze through there, but it's three slides, 35 feet, Nine inches long, overall length. Of course, like all newer Keystones, the model number doesn't have anything to do with the footage. It's actually the inside square footage. So 321 means 321 feet, square feet on the inside. And it is a rear lounge. And at 9,200 pounds, folks, for some of you with hefty, and I mean really hefty equipped half-ton trucks, this may be in your limit to tow. Uh, always want to verify, verify that with your vehicle manufacturer. I know some of the Fords rated tow right around 12,000 pounds if properly equipped. Not That doesn't mean all of them can. That means the ones with the max trailer tow package in the right equipment. And the best way to know that, what your vehicle can tow is ask your vehicle dealer. Service department, give them the VIN number, they should tell you. But, let's look inside. Got a little marker board right here. Uh, there's your remote control for your jacks. And this also will control your awning and light and more. Um, of course, you've got manual controls for everything as well. Your slide out room manual controls. It's got a 10 gallon gas electric water heater instead of the standard six. So it's got the upgrade water heater. Got the upgrade eight cubic foot refrigerator instead of the six cubic foot, which is standard. 
And you've actually got a lot of nice room in here. It's actually got solid surface countertops. Nice kitchen. Uh, Cabinetry is nice for what it is. It's got a 15,000 BTU ducted roof air. Sleeper sofa. Table booth makes a bed. Got day-night shades. Two recliners in the back. Uh, little entertainment center. Jensen audio system with a built-in DVD player. Got a little computer desk right here, a work area, which if you're staying in one for a long period of time, that's actually a pretty cool thing to have uh, because you got a place to pay your bills and um, have a computer there that, I mean, you don't have to use your table booth for an office. You can use that right there inside everybody's way. Uh, got a three burner stove top. They've got a cutting board somebody's put on top of it. Little bit of you showing on it, but not bad at all. Actually, a little bit more than you see on most campers. Seems like nobody cooks anymore. Got a high point microwave. Well, looks good. Refrigerator's already getting cold. In fact, I've had this one on for a little while, so so I like to show you. As you can see, negative three degrees in the freezer. In here, thirty nine degrees. I had it turned up all the way earlier, and it got down to like twenty three degrees. Um, or excuse me, negative 20 in the freezer and, and 30 degrees in the fridge. So I cut it back to uh, about three is worth most of the time where you want to keep them. Depends on how much stuff you have in there. Carpet looks good. There's no smoke, no pet odors in here. Uh, we've already done a preliminary check on it. In other words, we've checked the air conditioners. We've checked the slide outs, the jacks, obviously the fridge. Uh, TV obviously works, lights work. Uh, so you can rest assured that all that stuff currently works right now. Of course, breakers and fuses right there by the door, easy to get to. Got a pretty fair amount of storage. I mean, 35 feet, it's kind of, eh, upper medium size. It's not a big 40 foot or 45 foot. My gosh, I did a 43 foot the other day. That thing was huge. It just kept on going. But... You know, this is something that's under 10,000 pounds, so you're more open about what kind of truck can tow it. You don't have to have, while well, preferably I would rather have too much truck than one that's maxed out, but you don't have to have a big one-ton diesel dually truck to tow this, even though that's preferred, the preferred truck for any fifth wheel, but that's just me talking. Um, I know everybody's got different opinions about that, but I'm, I'm a firm believer in having too much truck and not enough. But anyway, you've got a side bathroom. Is that a China RV toilet? Yep, China RV toilet. I don't... Sto um, shower looks good. Look around the skylight. Looks good. Medicine cabinet. Everything's enclosed on the side. Remember, this thing's got heated uh, and enclosed tanks. Got a 34,000 BTU ducted furnace. I believe it's got like an 84 gallon uh, gray water tank and a 50 some odd gallon fresh water tank. So it's got, if you're going to boondock with it, it's got the capability to, to do pretty good at that. Especially considering it's considered kind of a lightweight model anyway. Uh, front bedroom, you got a place there for a TV, which we can certainly add one for you if you want us to. They're about $200 for a 32-inch TV or $150, I believe, for a 24 or 28. I'm not sure. Anyway, just ask your salesperson if you want to add it. We'll just add it to the price. Or you may have your own TV you want to add. you got a Queen Island East-West bed, big closet across the front, uh, sliding mirror door, storage over there. Does not have washer and dryer hookups. Now... Can that be added to one that does not have it? Yes, it can be in most cases. Um, it will be a little more expensive because water lines, power lines have to be run, drain lines have to be ran, vents have to be cut. But if you know if you want a price on one, it may be a little higher than normal because there's a lot more custom work involved since this thing was not really designed to have one. Um, but let your salesperson know and um, he'll get you a quote on that as well if you've got a need for it. Here's my recommendations on washers and dryers, folks. 
if you're not going to use it at least once a week, it's not worth messing with. If you're only going to use it three or four times a year, go to Washateria. It's a whole lot cheaper, whole lot faster, and you're not uh, heating up your RV either in the summertime operating the dryer. Um, so, you know, you kind of be your own judge about that. Everybody's got a different opinion, but, you know, most people, unless you're going to be living in it and using it at least once a week, it's not worth having. But anyway, folks, this 2011 uh, Dutchman Colorado, it's a 321RL, biggest Colorado that they make that year. I've got the factory sales brochure right here, which I'll have a copy of on my website, parkwayrvcenter.com, that you can look at in PDF format, and it'll be in color there. Um, you just go to my website, parkwayrvcenter.com, click on fifth wheels, and you can see all my used fifth wheels. i got quite a few in stock. Or if you're on YouTube, I made it really easy to go right directly to my used fifth wheel page. If you are on YouTube, watching this video on YouTube, not on the websites, but actually on YouTube itself, go to the video description below. Click on the link in the first paragraph. It will take you right to my used fifth wheel page on my website. Can't get any easier than that, folks. I got quite a few right now. Uh, I've got some stuff under 20 grand like this. Uh, some really nice stuff. Uh, this one right here, I think, for the year model is a bargain. Um, I mean, heck, you know, these things were about 42, 43 grand brand new just a few years ago. As a matter of fact, folks, if you'd bought this thing brand new, paid 10% down like you're supposed to or 15% and been paying on it for the past seven years since they financed these things for 180 months when they're new, you're still going to owe at least, folks, at least, uh, I'm going to say 30 grand, maybe 28 to 30 grand on it. So there's no way in the world that you could afford to sell it for seventeen nine when you still owe twenty eight to thirty grand on it. That's why it never pays to buy one of these new folks. But anyway, seventeen thousand nine hundred dollars, what we call our option A, which is a haggle free price. You're going to get this two thousand eleven Dutchman Colorado three twenty one RL. It will be checked out by my certified RV techs after purchase. In fact, we're checking out the one next to it right now. That we sold uh, that we sold Saturday, and uh, what they're going to do is go through it. Now we've already checked the major stuff, but they're going to check the water system, the propane system. They're going to make sure all your beds fold out like they're supposed to. They're going to replace that awning canvas. Uh, they're going to make sure your fridge works on propane. They're going to make sure all your drawers, cabinets, all that works great. All that's included for $17,900, folks. And it doesn't matter what we have to spend after the sale for this unit to make it through our inspection process. We're going to do so at no additional cost to you. In other words, folks, if we spend more than we planned on, like if we have to replace an air conditioner or, or a fridge or combination of any of that, folks, we're going to do so in the price at seventeen nine is guaranteed. It doesn't go up because we spent more than we planned on checking out. And, uh, and, and in layman's terms, for seventeen nine, you're going to get a fully functional fifth wheel that all you got to do is throw some clothes in it, throw some food in it, take it right to the campground. It's ready to use. Uh, you also get a ninety day nationwide limited warranty uh, that's that we purchase on your behalf. Accepted in a network of dealers nationwide. So for those of you who are traveling a long distance away to buy from us, you can rest assured that if they're in the rare occasion that you do have a warranty claim in the first three months, that you have options on where you can take it. You can always bring it back here, of course, but there may be a dealer. If you live a thousand miles away, that may not be feasible. You might There'll be a dealer in the network that's closer to you that you can take it to as well. So we do that just for peace of mind, even though very few claims are made on it. It's there just in case you need it. Um, also included, folks, uh, after this unit's been checked out, the um, uh, way it works, folks, after you purchase this unit, if you take the option A179 price, which is no extra fees plus applicable sales tax, uh, if, you got an, if you want to know how much your sales tax will be, when and where you have to pay it, call my sales department before deciding to buy and get an estimate on your tax. Everybody's got to pay it some form or fashion, but the amount you pay varies on where you live and how you're paying for it. So, after this unit's been purchased, it goes to our service department, which right now we can knock out in just a few days. Always want to verify that with your salesperson, though, before deciding to buy because that changes daily. But once this unit goes through our inspection process and everything on that list works, works like a charm, 
And you always want to get a copy of that list by calling ahead and getting the salesperson to send you a copy of that checkout list. You're going to be impressed, folks. There's not another dealer on the planet that's going to take an eight-year-old fifth wheel and put it through the inspection process that we do. But once it's been checked out, then my cleaning crew gets a hold of it, cleans it inside and out. Then my service manager, Gordy, does his final walkthrough. If he's satisfied with everything, he'll call you, make an appointment. When you arrive at the appointed time to pick up your new-to-you fifth wheel, the tech that checked it out that knows it better than anybody is going to give you a one-on-one -on -one RV orientation. He's going to have his checklist out that you should have long had a copy of by now. He's going to go through everything on that checklist with you and make show you everything on that list works as well as how to operate everything on that list. And, folks, you need to get a copy of that list because it literally covers 95% of the systems on this fifth wheel. So... Um, one of the few things it doesn't cover is TVs, and that's why I've got it running, so you can see that it works. But all that's included, folks. Uh, of course, the tech will show you how to do all that, give you tips, tricks, and pointers, help you hook it up to your truck. If you need assistance with a hitch, we can help you with that as well. Um, just give us a call, 706-965-7929. Um, and on top of that, folks, you get the 90-day warranty, you get the orientation, you get the checkout. You get 21 nights of free camping, good at select RV resorts nationwide, up to seven nights at a time in a 12-month period. That's $1,000 worth of free camping, yours for the taking. Because we know the first thing you're going to want to do when you get your fifth wheel is, is, is take it out and use it. So definitely got that covered as well. Um, and much more. You get a starter kit with all your camping essentials, big five-gallon bucket with sewer hose, water hose, chemicals, uh, adapters, reducers, and much more. All that's included. So you don't have to worry about going to an RV store and spending $100, $150 buying all that stuff. It's all included. Uh, you also get a uh, starter kit. Well, when you get the starter kit, you get a 45-day nationwide drive-out tag, no additional charge, and... You get some instructional DVDs that you can watch in your camper or at home just in case you forget something. And, and also, while you're getting your orientation, you're welcome to record the tech with your phone or camera so you can watch it later on. And, of course, he'll answer any questions you have as well. Folks, 17.9, all-inclusive plus applicable sales tax for all of that. That's the best deal on the Internet, folks, for under 20 grand. 17.9 haggle free one price store that means folks that's the price we do not this isn't the night a 1990s used car lot folks we do not haggle hardly anybody does anymore that's the price now if you want to go to the old ways we can certainly mark the price up to about 24.9 and start haggling but if you don't want to know if you want to know what it takes to buy it with all those benefits that we give you it's seventeen thousand nine hundred dollars folks Get online, price them. You're going to see we've got the best deal out there for this particular year making model, especially with all those benefits that other dealers charge you thousands of dollars extra for. 17.9 will trade. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're paying cash, trade, finance. Uh, financing is available with approved credit, minimum 10% down payment is mandatory. We also offer an option B, which is the only way we discount our incredibly low asking price. Option B is you buy the RV as is. That means no inspection, no checkout, no warranty, no orientation, no camping. All you get is a fifth wheel, a starter kit, and some instructional DVDs and a, and a drive out tag. That's it. And if you want a haggle free price on option B, contact my sales department and they'll be happy to get that for you. Uh, I do strongly encourage you, if you're able to, to come out and look at this RV in person and be your own judge about if you want to buy it and if you want to do option A or B. Um, and I understand not everybody can come out and look at them. We pack, we sell a couple of hundred RVs a year, sight unseen. In other words, we never meet the people that buy from us. They never see what they bought until they've already paid for it. They pay to have somebody to deliver it to them. And we can, uh, we've can we got delivery service as well. If you need it, just contact us for a quote on that. And they don't know if they bought until it comes up their driveway. And we certainly appreciate the trust that everybody puts in us to buy one like that. While we prefer to meet everybody we do business with, we know the Internet, everybody's schedules, that isn't always possible. So if you want to buy this sight unseen, we understand. We know it's a risk. Like any used vehicle, it's like, it's like a, a blind draw in a, in a, in a poker game. You just get the, you, have to, you have to play the cards you're dealt. 
We understand that it's a gamble, but we'll do everything we ha we can to, to help you stop any doubts you might have. If you need uh, additional pictures, a custom video, we can do that. Let your salesperson know what you want to see. If you want to pay for a third-party inspector to come look at this RV before you decide to buy it, we can certainly help you out with that. We, we know some in this area that can do it that do not work for us, that are impartial. Um, or, um, you know, you can always Google it yourself. We're, we're just about 10 miles south of Chattanooga, Tennessee, so we, we've got a pretty good service. But there are some third-party inspectors that will actually come here and inspect the RV for you as long as you pay them. And uh, they're very good. They, they, they've... I've got one guy that's done several of them here, and he's uh, he's very particular. <laughs> so um, definitely can help give you some recommendations on that if you want us to. You know, we're going to help you out any way we can, folks. Um, if you want to travel down here and take a look at it, you know, if you want to fly in, have us deliver it somewhere, we can certainly do that. We'll pick you up for free at Chattanooga, Tennessee Airport during business hours. Uh, we do offer free local delivery within 100 miles. Um so we do everything we can to help you folks. I know a lot of people are buying these to live in. I understand that. Hey, you know, my first apartment wasn't this big. And uh, here's the thing. For what you're going to spend renting on an apartment in 18 months, you can pay for this thing free and clear just what you're going to waste on rent for 18 months. So um, have something to show for your money. You know, these are great for those of you who have elderly parents or in-laws that need to move in with you for the unforeseeable future. This way they can have the independent and try to build an addition to your house with a living room, a kitchen, a bathroom, a bedroom with its own heat and air and water system for seventeen nine folks. See how you can't even pour a slab for that to extend onto your house. So definitely um, got some benefits to that. And of course, good thing about setting one up permanent, you can put your deck out front and put you a wheelchair ramp if you need to go into the door. I mean, there's uh, there's ways you can make it work. And if you got any questions about any of that, contact my sales department. We're very experienced at selling these people to live in. Um, so if you got any questions, give us a call. Best way to reach us is 706-965-7929. That number's answered 24-7. we got an answering service for after hours. If they can't help you, they'll get your contact info. And one of my non-commissioned sales team members will call you back the next business day. So, folks, we definitely got a huge selection of used fifth wheels right now got, got got a few of them under 20 grand like this so if you're interested give us a call 706-965-7929 uh, visit my website parkwayrbcenter.com or again if you're on youtube click on the video description i've got a link in the first paragraph take you right to it uh, also um you can email us sales s-a-l-e-s at parkwayrbcenter.com and um, come visit us. Heck, folks, we're just about 10 miles south of Chattanooga, Tennessee. We're a little over an hour and a half north of Atlanta. We sell five to 600 used RVs a year, and we've got the largest selection of used RVs in one location in a 500-mile radius. So, folks, if you're coming to the southeast to buy your next used camper, fifth-wheel motor home, you, you, you're, you're missing out if you don't come visit us, folks. Not only on savings, but on a whole lot more pleasant buying experience, folks. No commission salespeople, no sales pressure, no games, no gimmicks, no extra fees, uh, no haggling. We did away with everything that everybody hates about buying a used vehicle, and maybe that's why we've been in business for half a century, folks. I can't think of a better testimony than that right there. 50 years in business, family owned and operated three generations since 1968 to describe how we do business how we treat our customers, the quality and the price that we sell our RVs for. Any better than that right there. Thank you for watching my video. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, hit the, hit the uh, subscribe button. Hit on the bell notification so you get notified every time I post a, a video. Make sure you hit the thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.